C, D, E, F, G. All right. Alphabet Inc., guys. But you know, it's Google. G O G. G O O G L. And that stock is on NASDAQ, Technology Internet Services. And I did a podcast uh, October 30th, a month, four or five days has passed. And I had Alphabet Inc. on the brinks of collapse. And let's just check out something. Alphabet Inc. is on the NASDAQ. Whoa! NASDAQ is one of the remaining few. I've been covering um, most of uh, the world in the indices. In the, in the States, North America, we have a few. Sorry. And um, NASDAQ, see, it's, still, it's below 12 months from average. But it's still above Ichimoku Cloud defined support, guys. And I've been counting down how many are still above that Ichimoku Cloud. And there's four left. There's the NASDAQ. There's uh, the Dow Jones 30. There's the SPX, so the big three uh, American ones. And there is the uh, Nifty, Nifty 50, still above. All the rest, um, the DAX, way below the, thir- the Ichimoku Cloud defined support. Uh, Japan today, just barely below. We'll have to see how the week closes for that. And Google is a big part of the NASDAQ, is a big part of the SPX. So whatever happens to Google, G-O-O-G-L, whatever happens to Google is going to impact those two indexes. If they're going to start rolling over, if they're going to get out of the Chimuk Cloud to find support, the final burden, Google is going to really draw down on that. So having, after having a Great stage two, guys, for a long, long, long time. Look at that. Up, sideways move, up, sideways move, up. But now you have increased volatility. Uh, Look, look, these are all my scribbles from uh, about a month ago. Let's just go see. I'm going to jump around a little bit today. Let's just go see what I had. I had the top. I had an implied measure move. This is my monthly defined resistance, my monthly defined support. Uh, October 30th, where was it? Do, 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 do. Okay, right here. This candle right right here. And what I say? Okay, there's support here. I really have to rewatch the video, guys. I can't remember exactly what I said. And then I said, okay, maybe it's going to hit here a little bit. Maybe we can go all the way back here, hit the 30 week moving average. It could happen that we could go through and then that would invalidate that stage four. We get. That stage four thesis theory would get back into stage three and we'd be aiming maybe for stage two continuation. But uh, else I had it bouncing off the 3 wing average, up with the Ichimoku cloud, going down, testing that breakdown line. And then after that, down to the target, monthly defined target, maybe finding some support here, bouncing back up, etc. Playing that game over and over and over. So the Ichimoku cloud really got to respect it. We had a close below it, but we didn't have a close below the monthly defined uh, support breakdown line. So weight of evidence, no matter what you do, what time frame you do, start at the monthly, draw the lines because they'll be pretty much invisible. The smaller the time frame uh, you go down, you won't be able to see them because it's noise. These closes on the weekly, you don't see them on the, on the monthly. You see them as wicks. You see these wicks. So those are daily, weekly, four hour, one hour, 15 minute closes of those candles. It's all the noise here. So draw the line, monthly defined support. Then you go on your time frame. Now I'm, draw, I'm going down to the weekly. And then after that, you could, ah, I could bounce off here. There's a monthly defined support. It's not always the same as the weekly. If I go on the daily, there's even more noise. So the monthly defined breakdown line is going to be even uh, higher versus the the price action of the daily the daily defined support Ooh, hope that was clear i'll try to all right so after that what happened a few weeks later two two sideways down price action got brought back up another red candle price action got back up very very close still have that monthly defined breakdown line green green candle and then after that today, gap up, close in the cloud, use as support. 
so we'll have to see it hasn't closed yet uh, it's not ongoing that's a weekly candle today is uh tuesday so we have wednesday thursday friday price action so we're going to see what happens with that here but it's a it hit that monthly def it hit that um 30 week moving average it hit this four week sideways move breakdown from the top above getting close to that area so this is not a we have to wait for the week anyways to take action you could say oh man this is great to short but you still have to go through that ichimoku cloud defined every time you go through it's, it gets easier and easier to go through it you're gobbling up all that all the all those buyers that brought the price action back up they might not be buying this time they're already bought so they're, they're waiting for the price action to go back up to sell higher so every time you test that support bam 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 gets weaker and weaker And until, unless like the dynamics change, something fundamentally changes, this looks like a top, guys. I don't know, left shoulder, head, and now we're probably working here for a right shoulder here. Lower lows, and this, oh yeah, this is, I drew these lower lows just to show that when you have lower, sorry, I say lower lows, lower highs, when you have lower highs, you're in the downtrend. Or the beginning of a downtrend and when you have lower lows to accompany those lower highs then you see it's like a channel going downwards and the 30 average going downwards and then the digital clouds gonna start going downwards and that is a trend multiple multiple ways to identify a trend and you it's like if it looks like a duck quacks like a duck then it's at stage four decline so that could be a big big Head and shoulders top guys so i don't quite know how it's going to react here maybe it's gonna we'll see we have to wait so until you close below these levels just keep an eye on it you don't want to get a uh, too overexcited and short it because what could happen you could easily it could easily have a thrust here have a few candles above and then go down as each cloud is getting thinner and thinner and this could be the the, the right shoulder and after that, well, where's your sell stop? Did you get triggered? Did you put it all the way up here? So you really, really got to wait. Underperforming the SPX once again, even after that nice pullback, you were starting to uh, reduce your, you were overperforming the SPX. And now you're starting to decline again, underperforming, accelerating to the downwards. Uh, just the beginning, guys. See that red zone there? It's just the beginning of that stage four. The red price action below 30 week average, declining 30 week average. So very, very embryonic. I could do my little trick I do there to remove uh, any bias I, I would have. Would I play stage two breakout here? And the answer is no, not yet. I'd probably say, hey, Pat, look, nice bottom, 30 week average going downwards, flattening, getting out of the Chimuku cloud. We're not, not quite there yet. So what we're going to do, we're going to have to wait just a little bit. And after that, play up here. Wow. All right, let's go back on the monthly. Just to make sure we're not. Google. Oh, look at these scribbles. These scribbles. Destroy. So back, monthly defined resistance still valid, monthly defined support still valid, and now we're just getting closer to that. This is almost tweezer top, uh, tweezer, tweezer bottoms, a lot of buyers coming back in, a lot of buyers coming back in. I'm not quite sure on the definition of uh, tweezer bottoms if the body has to be as big or the deeper it goes back up, the more value it has. But uh, the, the price action right now is going back down and we could be testing that important level. So a close below, you got to be looking at that 1,000 level, that 1,015 level. A monthly close below that, just like I'm looking at the SPX, a monthly close below 2630. Man, I, I know that number by heart now because it's been set. That's the one. That's really, I think, that's going to give me those implied measure moves, these monthly defined implied measure moves big big moves bring me all the way down and see that target close to 800 792 back to previous base 
previous uh, resistance now turned support. I like the symmetry of this uh, target. We just have to wait, guys. So a few weeks left, uh, three weeks left in uh, November, uh, December, sorry. And uh, be patient. This could, if Google goes down, that's going to be the, the, the look of the SPX is going to look pretty much, uh, it's going to take a good hit. It's going to look, uh, that candle is going to be brought down a little bit. It's going to come back and test that 26 uh, 30 line right here. And uh, we'll see if we get those implied measure moves, guys. Stan used a swing rule. He used swing rules to as trend line violations as his sell stops that he moves uh, below lows, pullbacks, uh, 30 week moving average violation. He used swing rules to estimate or take some partial profits when you reach them. And uh, it's always good to know where you're heading on the monthly candle chart, guys. So 2340, that would be my target on the SPX. So all this is pretty linked together. Same thing for the NASDAQ. Google's a big chunk of it. And if Google goes down, see the, the chart almost looks like the, the Google chart. If the price action goes down, then of Google, then uh, NASDAQ, SPX, they're, they're pretty much going to follow to a certain extent. All right, guys, keep an eye on Google. Let me just show that. Google. What's that level we're looking for? 1016 monthly close below that and we could say we're close to game over all right guys ciao and uh yeah don't forget to subscribe uh, if you like i appreciate it